Hello and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. In this episode I'm going to make a quad logic gate which kind of expands on the previous module which was a quad inverter. This module can make takes two gate inputs and outputs one gate output with a logic uh, calculation of the two inputs. Uh, some of these gate functions can be AND, OR, XOR, NAND, uh, NOR and a lot of others. Not the one we did in the last episode was a one input just inverter which is still a, a logic uh, conversion so from a, a one to a zero. Um, this makes it possible to me to manipulate gate gates uh, and make intricate beats again without going all the way to sequencers we can still get a few nice uh, beats going with this. In the background I think you can hear um, this where there's an oscillator which just makes a beat once in a while or twice uh, and then you have the bass drum going every time let's see that's that one yeah difficult to hear but that's one of the things so this is an AND gate so this one only makes a gate when both inputs are high uh, one, uh, input 1 and input B. Uh, an OR gate would make a gate if input A OR B is uh, high. We'll go through that uh, and you can see that in a much better way. So this one is also built very similar to the previous module and I actually took the schematics from the last module and just added a few inputs and change the connections to the chip in the middle, the, the logic chip, uh, so it would work with these gates. And I'm working with quad two input gates. There are other uh, numbers of inputs. You can have three and even four input ANDs. So that would mean that all four inputs would have to be on to get an output. Uh, but I'm only, this module only uses the the two input gates, the quad two input gates, um, which there's a whole series of different ones. And the good thing is that they all have the same pin configuration. So you can actually just switch this. Um, so here we have a few modules and you can just switch these out in this uh, module. Uh, so if you want AND gates, you can make one of these modules with AND gates, one with NOR, one with NAND, one with XOR, and so on. Just making the same circuit and changing the chip. Uh, so this also opens up the possibility that I probably should do a PCB run for this uh, to just have really simple way of making uh, all these different kinds because now you need one module for and and then another another module for XOR and so on. So quite a lot of modules. I'd also like to say thank you to my Patreons who by supporting me makes it a bit easier for me to make these videos and you can also become a Patreon of course. Uh, you can head over to Patreon and you can see some stuff that is actually open for everyone and also uh, some stuff that is only open uh, to my supporters. But thank you to all of you who support me and um, with that let's go and look at how we can, what, what we do with the schematics and how we can build this. I would like to start by looking at the previous episode's uh, schematics. So this is the uh, quad inverter and we have the op amp comparators here with the voltage divider out here on the side and we had four of these with an LED all going into this uh, 4069, this is the logic IC, and then going out to these 
buffers uh, that went into a voltage divider to the outputs and also uh, to an LED. So looking at this week's module, we have we still have the voltage divider on this side and the op amp comparators with the LED and the input looks exactly the same. So nothing is changed here. It's just that instead of four, we now have one, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. So eight inputs all the same. And this is because each uh, gate has two inputs and one output. So the outputs are still the same as well. So you see here's the outputs and those four we haven't touched. And then we changed the chip in the middle. So instead of one input and two outputs, we got just one of many uh, quad logic gate chips. This is the 4071. Uh, so we have two output, uh, two inputs, one, two, and pin three is the output. And the pin configuration for this chip is the same as almost all the other uh, CMOS quad logic gates. And this means that we can use this to make many different kinds of modules. So I just wanted to point out that, that it's very similar to build to the previous module. Here is the panel that I thought up of uh, for this one. Um, I have not gotten it yet. So here's an input, the LED for that input, uh, the input here with the LED and then the output over on this side and this is just to get it to be as compact as possible with all these inputs and LEDs and stuff like that. Here is a just a square with, for, with the intention of being able to write what kind of module this is because you can change the ship so you can write AND or XOR, NAND, whatever here. Actually, just before I finish this video, I got the panel and, and uh, s put everything in. And I saw that the square that I did was actually exactly the same size as uh, it would be to stick a uh, IC socket in here. So now, uh, what I did, I put an IC socket here and I can carefully without having to take this panel out I can just do that and replace that with another chip so here's the NOR chip instead and all the logic changes so that's I don't know if that's a good way but uh, if you have one of each then you don't need to do this but I only made one for now uh, so then this is a good way of uh, changing the uh, characteristics of this module quickly and then you just have these chips that you can just uh, exchange so let's see if we can if I can show how this works so what we have here is uh, one output uh, of the simple divider divide by two goes into one of the jacks here so if we clock this one there so uh, divide by two that means input a1 is uh, on we don't get an output signal because uh, b1 isn't uh, on so that means and the b1 is divided by eight so if we clock down here to eight there now this one is high still the output is not high because uh, a1 isn't high so we clock one more and now both inputs are high and our output is high and so when we clock this you get this because now we only get it on the 
uh, divide by two beats and when the eight divide by eight is connected and this means that you get this beat with a pause so let's try another uh, IC so this is the NOR gate and this sounds exactly the same but let's look what happens here if we remove the clock so it is now high because none of the inputs is uh, high nor is not one or the other so that means that technically this one actually makes the quad inverter obsolete because this one is not having anything on that one and just something on this one this makes this a inverter I guess so let's clock this forward uh, right. so now we have an input here on one and then this one is not uh, high again so now there's no input on the and then there's an output now there is one input there and now there's an input there so no output and when we get two both inputs it's also not an output so only when it's not one or the other so when none of them is on it is <laughs> the output is high any other way it is off so let's change chip again all right so here's a different one so this is an x or so this is an exclusive or so this one will only have output when we are exclusively one or the other not when they're both and not when they're not both so again we clock once so now we have an output because one of the inputs is on none of the inputs is on and the output is not on now the same input is on again so we again have an output and now we still have an output because the other um, input is high but now when both are high it is not high on the output so this gets another interesting rhythm I think And I have one more chip. Let's change to that one. Okay, let's reset this. So this is a NAND. So this is not, this one will output when it's not one and the other. Uh, so I'm a bit unsure about this one, so let's see what it says. So no input, we have an output. And one input, we still have an output. And the other input, and we still have an output, but not probably when both are inputs are high so what this is a when it's not and one and the other uh, but all the other three uh, are uh, true but the this one when it's both are and or one and b a and b are high it's not high 
so a bit similar to the other ones. Um, there, I don't have an OR IC, and I think there's an another chip I don't have as well. Uh, but all these uh, quad logic gates works with this module, so it's very nice and if we if you make a, a lot of these then you can get really intricate and interesting rhythms so this probably concludes day eight uh, there are a few more things i could have squeezed in on this day but i hope i can fit them in somewhere later in this uh, season there is one uh, thing i did a live video last week where i tried to make uh, sync 24 or dean sync to uh, to get a, a steady beat out of that so i could uh, sync my tr606 or 707 to this uh, modular uh, and just doing that with uh, cmos circuitry uh, so i think you can find that i'll put the link in the description to that video or up here um, and I did manage to do that it's just a long uh, it's just you get to be in the process of, of doing uh, that module uh, so it's really rough and no input and output protection stuff like that just to show you that it is possible to, to make a, a DIN sync or sync 24 uh, converter with just w without having to use a microcontroller or Arduino or anything uh, and just use uh, CMOS circuitry and again binary counting and logic circuitry so it's it was interesting to see uh, and if you'd like to do one uh, if you want a DIN sync uh, converter uh, then you can use that and you could just take the uh, the circuitry from this module or the previous module the quad inverter the the input protection the the voltage divider to get the comparator and then the output uh, mosfet not mosfet the transistor uh, buffers and stuff like that and you would get a full fledged module from that We'll see, I might do that. Uh, it is a good module to have, but again, uh, if I should have that or if I should implement that within a sync module with a Arduino, that's we'll see later on. So the next day in this uh, and the next episode will be about drums again. I've done one of those just to because we needed something to play with these things. Um, and we'll continue making drums from uh, the next episode and onwards. So, hope you like this. Uh, press that like button and if you haven't already subscribed, you do that so you know when the next episode comes out and there's a bell thing that you're supposed to press. And of course, if you want to become a Patreon, go on and become that as well. So, until next episode, take care. Bye.